Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to this new Football Manager 2014 series with Dynamo Bucharest in Romania. I actually did get a request uh, from one of my subscribers to do a save in the Romanian League and that's something I've always wanted to do, not Romania specifically, but a team in a lower European country, so like not a team that's, or yeah, not a country that's always expecting, or yeah, have a team that's going to be winning Champions League and something like that. So Romania is definitely one of those countries. So I, di I didn't pick the best team in the league, but I still pick a decent team. Of course, the better team in this league uh, would be uh, Stauer. And also, I did want to say, this is probably not going to be my best pronouncing of name series, definitely, because usually I do an English team series, and yeah, I definitely know players' names, or they're just English names, so yeah, I'm pretty familiar with that, but anyway, uh, yeah, apologies in advance, or if you know, yeah, if you know the correct way, if I pronounce something wrong, don't insult me, just, yeah, trying to assist me will be more appreciative, but anyway, uh, now there's uh, Stauer Bucharest, and they're probably the biggest team. I was thinking about them for a minute, but I thought there's no point in being them because they've got uh, good facilities already. And well, actually, they they have good players and everything. They're renowned uh, or renowned as the best team. But if you go to the view squad and go to where am I? Yeah, a view. No, sorry, I'll do that again. A view squad, then view club, then go information and facilities. Uh, they've only got average youth recruitment. You say I could do that to improve and poor youth facilities as well. So they don't have a great setup right now, but they're they're the team that's expected to come first. I thought being the team that is expected to come first will eventually get boring because, yeah, I should be winning every single game, but that's what I want to, I guess, strive to do uh, with Dynamo uh, because, yeah, they're a good team. They've got some good young players, and I'll go through that in this first episode here uh, with you and some signings I'll make or, yeah, that I have made. I'll go through there first, but actually... Yeah, I want to show you, this is what I have right now. Look at the balance, 3 million. That's the balance already. It's not high, so yeah, it's going to be more of a challenge. I'm not sure what Stour or what their balance is like, but I am I think it may be in a better situation than just having 3 million, and it was actually less than that. I sold a player, and you can see transfer budget. Yeah, that's pretty low as well. And we'll go to transfer center right now. I'll go through players that I've sold and bought into the team. I only made one transfer out of the team at least and that was a 2.5 million fee from Angie uh, to buy our winger Cosman Matai he's definitely would have been one of our better players but yeah I didn't think he was our best player of course he's 21 so he can improve so but we needed the money so if you look at all my situation there with the transit budget and everything and our balance uh, for 2.5 million imagine if that wasn't there so that's what I mean uh, yeah we needed the money and uh, this is where my enjoyment gets back for football manager or with this kind of team because I can sign players I never probably will sign before, whether it be with a lower English team or a topper English team, like in the Premier League. I wouldn't have signed any of these players ever because, yeah, of course, it's a lower quality. And, of course, yeah, the goal with this kind of series is to be eventually winning a Champions League uh, with Dynamo uh, Bucharest. That will be a major goal uh, for me and a fantastic series. And, yeah, for people that uh, were wondering, I'm sure people will be wondering already uh, if I will be continuing my other saves. Yes, I will be. I'll probably just be doing them in rotation, like whenever I have an episode ready, because I'm going to be playing them all. Because, yeah, based, I've always played heaps of saves, like even before. Well, yeah, last year I did heaps. I usually have three saves I play, like continually, at least off camera as well. But I suppose, yeah, together while I'm recording. But now I've really made the decision to mostly record basically everything I do. So, yeah, this will be one of those series where I basically record everything, every single game. And, yeah, hopefully it'll be a good start because we're in the league. Um, we're in the first league, of course, and, yeah, looking for success. So hopefully I can do that. And, yeah, I, I might talk about it as the series goes on and not tell you exactly what my plan is in the first episode. But, uh, yeah, I'll get ideas as the series goes on, whether I want to develop with youth or something like that. But, yeah, the main goal eventually is to win a Champions League with a team that is definitely not in contention to win it and not in any European competition this season as well. That's the kind of team I want it to be as well, to get them into that stage. Even if it's just Europa League as well, they'll be a good challenge because they're not a team. If I go to history, and yeah, they've never won a European competition. You can see they're just all Romanian competitions like the league. They've still won the league 18 times, but not since 2007. So yeah, a bit of a spell... Uh, from there, of course, one of the more successful teams in the country. And yeah, we've got to get back to that stage. And you think to stand a chance to win. The only downside is 
I would to win to have a team to win the Champions League. I would have to have a team that would be absolutely dominating in the league, and it may get boring. That's the only downside. But leave your thoughts when it gets to that stage as well. Uh, but anyway, I'll go through the players I signed on a free transfer, and I basically the start of this. Uh, I, when I started this save-up, I had basically no transfer budget and available wage budget. And you may get an inclination. You may oh, you may have guessed that by we sold a player for two point five million, and we still have yeah we still have the lacking transfer fund. So yeah, look, two point five million money we get, and that actually went into the balance. Of course, it was actually yeah. Say if we got two point five million, imagine how our balance would have been without that less than a million. That's what I mean. See, look at that the season profit. So you can see the difference there. You take that away, it's only about a million, if that, so or less. So yeah, these are the players. I'm really happy. Uh, you may have known these players by looking at this name already, but if you don't, uh, yeah, I'll go through the first guy here. Uh, we got Jean Paul Yoncha. I did feel I needed a very good striker, and yeah, he fit the bill. He's a good. I love these. Well, at this level, at least, like I suppose you compare this level maybe to a Championship or League One. Yeah, probably Championship of English. It's definitely not as good as Premier League. And you've got a couple standout teams. But anyway, I love signing these players when you're not obviously like a top four team that are physically good. Or even for a mid-table Premier League team. This, If you compare the size of the club, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I love these strikers. Or yeah, if they're strikers or centre-backs, I really like when the physicals are balanced. When they have a lot of 13s and 14s. Of course, if they're higher, they're going to be an amazing player. But for this level, it's pretty good. I like to get strikers like that more so because, yeah, they're a bit strong. They've got a bit of pace, so... He's strong, bit of pace, plus finishing as well. 15 finishing, that is really, really good. Hopefully, be able to score goals for us. He scored two goals in the preseason uh, matches, so I was happy with his input. Of course, he's a foreign player, though. I might as well go with you the you'll go through with you the restrictions and that kind of stuff and the registration rules. There's not really registration rules. It's more so just match rules. You can see here there must be no more than five non-EU players in the first 11. And the match squad, yeah, the match squad must have at least five players trained in a club by Romania, which, yeah, they're, they're kind of easy rules. But, yeah, you see um, more, no more than five non-EU players that in the first 11, so you've got to keep that in mind as well as we'll go back to my other transfers here. And I'll talk about my team, you know, my other players and my tactic after this, but we signed Gilzinho. He's an attacking midfield player from Palmeiras. He was transfer listed, so that shows you why I can get him for really cheap, like... Uh, 29.5k of course like he's not the best player in the world you can't of course you look at him and he doesn't have great attributes but you can't compare that like to a top four team in the Premier League or something or even like a mid table like this guy's a young player as well he's got a bit of potential you look at the report and he's actually a decent player for this league with potential to be a leading player in the league so he has potential to be a very good player in this league and yeah, he's one of those Brazilians. He's got preferred moves as well. He's got moves into channels, cuts inside, and runs with the ball often. And going back to that point as well, in terms of his quality, you saw my budget. And I actually signed him before we sold the other guy. So at that point, yeah, I, this, yeah, he was my best option to go with. And yeah, he's decent though, because he can play in all attacking positions on the wing, attacking midfield or striker. So yeah, they're all going to be positions in our formation. So you've got that... You can see he's got the pace, he's got dribbling, uh, bravery, and aggression, which is yeah pretty rare to see that high on a small winger. But yeah, uh, he has that, which is not too bad. And then probably our biggest signing in terms of the experience and quality of the player was Mikael Salvest, of course, ex-Manchester United player. It brings a wealth of experience to the club. Playing Champions League football for Manchester United, huge Huge experience coming along with this signing. I'm very happy to get this signing done, honestly, on a free transfer. Amazing player to get. Of course, he's a bit older, but it's not like he's slow or something. He's got 12 pace for a 35-year-old. And um, yeah, he used to play, didn't he? I played left back for Manchester United. I think, yeah, he's played left back and centre back at different times of his career. So, yeah, I reckon he's a really, really good signing. He's easily our best centre back. If you go to reports, yeah, he's topping the list there. And we've got uh, Dragos Grigor. Uh, who's a pretty solid uh, centre-back as well. He actually uh, had interest in him, so I offered him a new contract after I reject offers, and yeah, he's uh, going to be an important player for me, so we got a pretty solid defence, at least at the centre. Uh, but right here, we signed Alan uh, Stoika, signed up another Romanian player. He's only got a two-star report, but I feel as though that is a bit underrated. Like, he's a really good player. You'll see in our formation as well. He'll play in the box-to-box -box midfielder like I'm training him. I wanted to improve his attributes in that kind of role as well because... He wouldn't really... He's not that defensive-minded, so he's going to have to be the more attacking type. 
uh, we, especially with the flare that tells me he can do something special like he can hopefully um, provide some special moments he's played for the Romanian national team as well and look at that on cheap wages as well like 500 pounds per week yeah pretty cheap so I'm happy with that of course yeah it doesn't matter if he doesn't make a huge impact because yeah like I said cheap wages and sign on free transfer and then we signed Gorka Larre um uh, Laria I'm not sure how to say his name but he's Spanish and he's exactly the kind of player I like you know usually in my tactics I like to play possession and yeah that's exactly what it is but he's not really that's not his central role well it's hard to say like when you play at this lower level you sometimes it's some players and this guy's a perfect explanation you can't really see his key attributes but if you look at his preferred moves here, he gets into opposition area play short simple passes so that tells you a little bit about his game uh, which is good He's naturally as a defensive midfielder, but he gets forward. And we don't, we're not actually playing with defensive midfielders in my new tactic, but they're all the signings. So leave your thoughts on the signings, but keep in mind, you've got to know the level of this football as well. It's, it's going to be hard to judge. But yeah, if you've managed at this level before, uh, leave your thoughts. Or if you've managed in this league before, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts on those kind of signings. But anyway, uh, this is where you see the team set up. I'll just do a quick pick. Uh, uh, I've actually got a game to play, but I'm not going to play in the first episode here. This is just a introduction episode to get a first, yeah, first quick episode done. And yeah, this is the line. I'm, and again, I don't really feel like I want to go through every single player. Uh, you can just take a look of 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 the, there. I might do by assistant report as well. You can check out my tactic. You know, yeah, usually I'll set up. I guess you would call this a four-two-three-one. You got four-two-three-one, or it could be four-five-one if you want to count it as five in the midfield. But yeah, however you want to call it. And I guess I'll show my team instructions as well. This is how I've set it up. I got on retain possession, shorter passing, work the ball into box, and drill the crosses on the possession. Uh, then on penetration, we have exploit the flanks and play wider. Of course, those two go together. Then on defending, we've got hassle opponents, get stuck in, and use tighter marking. And in the general, we've got the higher tempo. So yeah, as I was saying, that is basically it for the introduction of this new series. It's going to be, as I said, in conjunction with my other saves with Arsenal and Bar City, just uploading at different times. It doesn't mean another series is going to stop. Please keep that in mind and watch the whole video before commenting about it. And yeah, drop a like uh, to support this series. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a very big one. So yeah, hopefully you can drop your support and I will see you guys in the next video.